we started astronomy research in 2010 when I joined the physics department. And through the efforts uh, and the hard work of Professor Ebenzo, who was the Dean of Science, and um, he helped us secure funding to, to buy the telescope. It was eventually delivered in 2015, and then we decided to erect it uh, in the bush just behind the Soka Institute in Mafikeng. And then it was launched on the 1st of August 2015. Shortly after, we secured funding also to uh, get a, sh a shake, a metal shake, to protect the telescope against the elements. And um, so, and then a year later, again through the efforts of the science faculty under Professor Ebenso, we were able to to uh, get funding to start putting up a building, a, a brick building, basically to house the telescope. That building was completed in December 2017, and our telescope is a 40 centimeter telescope, very. Uh, very uh, high-tech in the sense that you can operate it, uh, connect to it and operate it via a computer and also it has a remote operation mode so if you have internet access and with our permission anyone in the country can be given access to it to control it and, uh, and use it. So because it's not a very large telescope it will be best used for bright star research so this is doing research on bright stars because the thing with telescope is the bigger it is, the more fainter stars you can use to, to study. And because this one is not so big, you can use it mostly for bright stars. It can also be used for searching for planets around other stars, exoplanets, which is one of the hot topics in, in astronomy right now. Telescopes like the Square Kilometer Array, which is a giant array of radio telescopes located in the Karoo and in Australia and other neighboring countries. And also the large Southern African large, uh, large telescope, SALT, which is a 10 meter optical telescope in the Karoo. Um, people are going into big astronomy topics like galactic work, like uh, uh, observational, astro I mean, observational cosmology. In Mafikeng, we have decided that we want to focus on stars, not on galaxies or, or the universe at large, but uh, understanding the physics of stars. Yes, I mean, people want to know whether we are the only living species in the whole universe. And, uh, and also now people are, want to go, I mean, we, so the first place to search for it is in the solar system. So we're looking at planets that, ha that uh, look a little bit like our Earth, planets like Mars. I mean, it's slightly smaller than the Earth. It has a very thin atmosphere and there is water that has been discovered there. So, so that is the most natural place to go uh, outside of the Earth and, and besides the Moon to go and search for life or even to try and, and create a living environment uh, in, in a planet like Mars. So, that, I mean, many people are talking about it and are very excited about it. But besides that, astronomy is one of those rare sciences which really can, people can connect easily with because with astronomy, the sky is our laboratory. You don't need money to put up expensive laboratories. Uh, astronomy is a vehicle, is a perfect vehicle for getting young people to consider science careers and so on. And astronomy is about ourselves, it's about our place in the big scale of things, in the universe, in the solar system, in the galaxy. And so, yeah, we do need to, to make our young people more excited about science.